Hello there, this is Candace again, and uh, I shared with you uh, the Thinking Tree Fun Schooling Winter Journal for Girls, and this is the one for boys. Um, we have a seven-year-old boy. He's a little young for this yet, but um, he's definitely all boy, active boy. Um, as you can see, this is this follows the typical Thinking Tree structure where you go to a library or bookstore, get books. Um, movies, all kinds of different media to learn about subjects the child is interested in. And this is geared towards boys. The artwork in it is geared towards boys. There's calendars, meal plans, getting them to think about what they're eating, nature study, some reading time, sketching out and writing out some things they're reading about, learning a new skill. Like for our son, um, you know, there's just a multitude of new skills that he can learn, um, be it with Legos or just almost anything. We just have got some snap circuits and he loves those, so maybe he can learn more about that on YouTube. Spelling, film study, copy work, which might be his least favorite thing is writing at, the, at this age. Thinking page, designing something, and if you saw my girls video um, on the girls journal this is what the graph paper page will look like in your copy um, like I said that copy just had an issue but that is no problem to us we just we have graph paper we can use and insert there so recipe so this gets the boys cooking there's math involved in that chemistry all kinds of different things in cooking so lots of action in cooking um, and baking so there's some creative writing or history in it, spelling, nature study, one of our son's favorite things to do is to be outside. I really like the unique approach to spelling that these have where they find words instead of just being given words. Maybe they can find words that are meaningful, you know, to them and work them out. Um, listening time, which our son loves listening to audiobooks. Here's some art where a piece of the picture is missing for you to draw. And I'm just going to flip through the rest of the book so you can see it. Um, once again, it's geared towards boys. This is the winter uh, version of, the, of this journal. There's uh, spring, summer, fall. Uh, I know for sure there's a spring active boys. Um, I haven't checked about the summer and fall, but I'm sure they'll be rolling around if not. So there's a lot of people wanting uh, boy journal, boy based journals. Um, so. really like the uh, pictures in these to color oh, font writing. That's a good way, I think, to get boys uh, writing is practicing writing their fonts, writing different fonts. Our son likes to, his favorite thing is writing typeset A's and typeset G's, so it's just kind of funny. French dogs. That is pretty cool. And our son just said, I think last week he wanted to get a book about dog breeds. So we don't have any pets, so it's 
something, and he likes dogs, so something that he probably would learn a lot about Russian dogs. Another way to learn geography as well. English. I think we were talking about bird dogs in particular. And he was like, I don't know what a bird dog is. So, <laughs> anyway, so we talked about that. Or sporting dogs, stuff like that. But these, these would be good for geography, a little geography study. Chinese dogs. Swiss dogs. So, this is, once again, The Thinking Tree by Sarah Brown. Fun schooling for boys. Winter journal. You can see it's thick. I believe this, just like the girls, is meant to be for 60, 60 days worth of school. And you can just use this, uh, the library, YouTube. You can use it as a supplement. You can, I mean, if you even wanted to use it in the winter, there's nothing, or the summer, there's nothing to say that you can't use it during summer break with uh, your kids that go to some sort of brick and mortar school and, uh, you know, get them learning about things that they want to learn about during the summer. So, just wanted to share this with you today, and I thank you very much for watching.